So you're passing it up to three players. Three, right? So these, this is a team, and this is a team. Okay. So now you have. So you sit in a configuration like bridge. So this is like so bridge. We, we could play it. Yeah. Or you know. Bridge, spades, hearts, whatever. Right. So then um, there are four rounds. Each deal with a scenario: shelter, food, transportation, and health. Um, you can randomly select which scenario you play first, okay? And then what happens is uh, you, you somehow determine who goes first, and then what you want to do is you want to lead with the, um, an action card that matches the scenario. So for example, this person has um, a T, an F, and an H, transportation, food, and health. If it's a health scenario and they lead with the health card, then that means whatever anyone else puts in, even if it's a health card, they will take. This is the scenario is basically like the high suit. Okay. So you want to play with your teammate in order to get, in this case, because the dice roll was one, three matches of the health scenario. So three health cards. Is that clear so far or not? It's to some degree clear. So, so you're working with your teammate so that you can collect three health cards. Once you collect three health cards, the round is over and you go to the next scenario. But what do we have? Do we have three health cards yet? Well, no. Not, I mean, it was just round one. So I, I was just demonstrating... Let's play it through and wait and show us how we get those. Okay. And what if I were already holding health cards? Three health cards. Well, then, then it would be in your interest if you are going first to lead that card because you will take it. If someone else has led a health card and you want to hold on to yours, then you would throw something with no value like transportation, uh, shelter, health. Mm -hmm. So okay. you want to play? Or? Yeah, sure. I mean, yeah, sure. Why don't, why don't we do an open-handed playthrough? Okay, so you two are a team. Okay. We can be an open-handed playthrough. Okay, so and after every after you so drop, reveal our cards. Okay, open the end of okay. Yeah, right. So, okay, so, let's, so let's say Colleen goes first. Um, the health card is, again, the sort of high suit. So at this point, um, you don't have any health cards. So mm -hmm. you can just, like, you just throw away a card, okay. right? Um, I don't have any health cards, so I'll just throw away a card. Mitchie has one, so if she wants to, she could throw or throw the health card. It's really up to, it's just up to her. So she has a chance of picking one more. She won't get any. She'll just. So I'll just throw. Can I pick? You have to throw one of your cards. Throwing a health card wouldn't make sense here because. Yeah. She's just gonna get it back anyway. She does. Yeah, exactly. So. But how do you tell who's won the hand? Is it highest? Well, when there's when there's no um, when there's none of the scenario cards, it's just it goes into it's just a discard to the discard. side, which will be reshuffled. Okay. The other thing I didn't explain are the RC cards, which are red cross. So if there is no high suit, a red a red cross card will you'll be able to, to collect. It's like a wild card. It's like a wild card. And when you're doing your matches, you can use any number of red cross cards to um, to instead of using one of the in this scenario health cards. So you can have three red health, uh, red cross cards, and it, it's three matches. The round is over. The only thing is that. The H cards, which are also which you're trying to, you could also collect three of. Those are ten points. Red cross are five, and then the other ones are worth nothing. And so you have to play to figure out whether you want to try to get three health cards or two health cards and one red cross or three red cross. It's up to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's play through this hand. Okay, so there will... Okay, so this is their way. And now everyone makes sure that they have to they pick a new card. So, uh, okay, so Colleen, let's say you go again. I don't. I mean, I also we still have health scenarios. Scenario the health, yeah. You, the, the scenario doesn't change until, in this case, because we rolled a one. One of the teams gets three of the health cards, or again, two health cards and a red cross, or one health card and two red crosses. So that comes. <laughs> Uh, oh, actually, I should have played it at one point. So that's another. Oh. oh that's right now. So, so, so he wins. Yeah. Well, no, but we have we we still have to play through because there's a possibility that maybe if, if um, 
So if you played, say I didn't play my health card. If you played, I played, and then you played it first, it's the person who first plays the health card. So now because he has three health cards, it's, he's actually going to lose it to you. If the person who first plays the card that matches the scenario that gathers them. So now these two, you have two health cards, and now these are, then we go again, a new, uh, drawing new cards. Okay. So assuming you... Assuming you've collected three, we've played in a row and you've collected three, you now have 30 points. And then the idea was that the probability and the... Um, I don't... Okay, keep going. The probability and the magnitude are multipliers. So now you multiply 30 times, uh, times 40, basically. So you would have your, your 30 times 40, and because we weren't able to collect anything, we just have zero. Okay, so Mitchie has points. Mitchie has, well, you as a team have points. You and Mitchie have points. Okay. Right? So health scenario is gone, you go on to the next one. Got it. Shelter. So again, mm -hmm. this time instead of the H cards being of the greatest value, it's the S cards. Got it. So you go through the same process um, until you finish all four rounds. And then you total the score. And these will, will oftentimes, um, this doesn't change um, until you start a new game. But depending on the probabilities that you get, you could um, end up, it helps you with your, with your score, if, even if you've lost the round. So. Okay. So that was one idea. Okay. So it's at the end of one round, you count how many cards? Yeah, at the end of one round, you count, and then you deal out a new set, and now it's a shelter scenario. Mm -hmm. And you play through. So that was one. So again, it's sort of like a kind of stage where you're working as teams to collect books. In a right. Way. But the books, the amount of books depends on the dice roll at the beginning. Do you know Pinochle? I haven't played Pinochle. Because Pinochle, you actually bet in the beginning as to, and that could actually be something that would work in like probability wise or something. You yeah, we, talk, we talked about betting ahead of time. That, for example, um, round by round, the teams could determine the uh, probability. But mm -hmm. the, the problem that we had with that, again, is because it's weather, that we didn't want to exert, like, yeah. Say that players could choose what the pool. But again, we're not. All these are being used for our multipliers in the game. So for the score. Yeah, they don't actually do anything with like the probability of it happening or the magnitude. So. Mm -hmm. So that was one. Are there any more questions or? Yeah, let's see the other one, and then we'll, okay. we'll like hold our comments. So. so the other one is. Uh, can you pass me the the notice you have for this? Okay, so the other one is sort of built on what I had before. So you have a 10-day forecast, or 10 rounds, right? Um, this is the day that's like, this could be like considered like the day furthest away from you. Maybe this is the weather in another country. And this is, this is the present day when uh, the weather will affect you. Um, you have... So that's like a timeline. Yeah. Okay, so you have probability, again chosen randomly, uh, let's say 30, and then you have a magnitude, right? All of the magnitudes are low, medium, and high, and in order to be prepared for the, this specific magnitude, you need to have these amount of cards. The cards are uh, Red Cross, Flood, Water, or sorry, Red Cross, Food, Water, Transportation, Shelter, and Health. And so, for example, to be prepared for a medium flood, you need to have two Red Cross cards, three food cards, four water cards, three transportation cards, four shelter cards, and three health cards. Okay. Then what happens is, um, this is what I wasn't sure about here with the players, but I'm assuming it's a five-player game. You start with five, each player starts with five cards. And basically, every round, each player puts down a card so that they can start seeing how are they um, using their actions to accomplish this goal? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. um, the thing that I wasn't sure about whether is that whether each of these cards should just be one-point cards or they should have a range between like one and five. 